Morning, everyone. Hey guys. Huge problem. My luggage literally opened. You've got to be kidding me. No, it literally just opened. Guys, she had me come all the way upstairs. No, I was. I like, was freaking out. I was literally. Freaking, I was worried too. I was freaking out. I was literally being like, dude, I can't like. You know when like you complain about like a jar not opening for yeah. hours and then someone does it on their first try. It's like you must know. Guys, we're back. Last night I went to Chris Stapleton. Today is gonna be a perfect fall day. We are recreating our perfect fall days, minus the fact that Anthropology is no longer open at Highland Park Village, so we won't be going there. You're, you wow. can't be seen, by the way. You're like sitting right behind me. That's so. That's you knew heartbreaking. That. No, I didn't. Dom, you have actual memory loss. Yes, you do. You, we went to the Knox Henderson one that it went to, and we like had like a funeral for every time we passed you're by. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Guys, Dom is like forgetting things like left and right. I am. I'm getting worried about you. We should go get you a spec scan like me. Also, I got this new perfume and it would be awesome if it worked. And I was telling Dom, I'm like, oh my God, yeah. Like I saw it on Instagram, people love it. It's like the same as like the Baccarat. It's amazing, but it's like clean and it's only $50. I was hoping you were gonna have a suitcase moment where it started working. Yeah, me too. It's Dime. This is the perfume, by the way, if you guys, I'm like, if you guys don't order it, but I'm sure I just got like a bad bottle, but I was like, yeah, Dom, it's really cool, whatever, and I got out of the box, and now it's just like, I should email them. Okay, well, we're leaving for the perfect fall day. We're going to Starbucks, and we're going to North Park, and Bath and Body Works, and Free People, and Anthropology. I'm really excited. I want to wear like a slayed outfit, but I also want to wear a hoodie. I was going to do this and this, and then my gray sweats and my chocolate brown Uggs. My bread winning house star sweats. I actually live in these guys. We have some available still, and then we have like a few smalls left of the crew, I think. They're, I have these in the size up too. It took me a really long time to realize that in order for my sweats to fit the way that I want them to fit and to not be like tight fit around my leg, I need to like size up. Because I thought like sweats like true to size were supposed to be like baggier. No. No, that's like, I feel like that's like newer. I'm an idiot. Yeah. I need to do an entire at least TikTok on all of my H&M fall finds because I have stuff from like two years ago that I wear all the time. This vest, I will link it, I'll try because it was on the website the other day. $39.99 and I wear it all the time. I think I was with you when I bought it. I think so. But I like literally wear it constantly. I was really in my H&M bag. Yeah, we like really went through a phase. My, oh, I got another H&M coat too. Look at this one. It's so beautiful, like a white cream coat, but it's gonna be like so cute for winter. Love that vibe. See, I wish it was cold enough to like wear this stuff. Like I'm kind of already over my, I don't know, I gotta figure this out. This is what Fitz and I do every morning. We just stare at him and I tell him how much I love him and how he's so perfect. And then, oh my gosh, like have you ever seen? I'm so lucky, you're such a perfect dog. I just love you. Guys, like I actually cry. He's just the sweetest dog ever. I have the complete opposite dogs, one is so small and funny and like attitude and runs the house and the other one is like the biggest dog you've ever seen and just like so sweet and he's only two. Bye, oh. I wish you could go to North Park. Fitz would like shopping. He would. Thank you. <laughs> Dom just got a dome win. It's like demoralizing. It's literally like, like the most like like honestly, like just take me out to the streets and shoot me. So in our New York vlog, Marissa loves a dome lid. That's insane. She thinks that it's like luxury. I'm Isn't that crazy? It makes me, oh my God, that's actually so fitting for our seventh grade photo dump that we're gonna do today. I got, and they put whipped cream on top. I'm like, you guys literally- You didn't say no whip by the way. I know, I forgot, but- Well, I was gonna ask you, but I was like, well, you've already you, gave me the order, maybe. I feel like usually they like say like, do you want whip or not, but I don't. This is the thing about you, with ordering a Starbucks, like you know when you're like in the car and you're like okay what do you want dom will tell you and this she's like oh thank you for asking me what i want to order and she's like buying time for like thinking of her order meanwhile the brain is splashing into my car and on my arm it's all wet no i was just and so that's why i was like i'm not even gonna ask we're listening to fearless 
Dom's energy isn't really where I need it to be at today, but it's okay because I'm gonna give her 10 minutes after she has coffee, and then after that I'll start panicking. Yeah, no, guys, there's just a little bit of a time discrepancy, and I am just a little, I'm just a little sleepy. I'm also wearing the outfit I wore yesterday because I just really didn't plan for this weather. Also, doesn't this weather just make you want to like curl up, mm -hmm. watch Love Is Blind? Yeah, sure, but. Um, don't you want to go to the mall? Of course. We're already at our first store. Dom's energy came back as soon as she saw this bag. Thank God. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, Censor that. Censor oh. This bag I wanted so bad. The line in LA to get it is insane. Insane. It's like so hard. You have to go to like Fred Seymour. Dallas takes care of it. It's also 10 a.m. No one's even here at the mall yet, but. Guys, Ghani, Ananine, Bing have opened. And, well, Diesel's been open, but. Dom got her bag. I'm almost done with my latte. Here we are. I'm so excited. Have to I'm go to both. So Let's go to Ghani first. Really cute. New Ghani is so cute, guys. Like, it's beautiful. Perfect, thank you. These pants are very cute. But the thing is, they're really thin, so I won't wear them that much longer here. This is amazing. The Ghani Texas shirt. This vest, I'm obsessed with. The new Anim Bing is also great. This one's better than the Soho one. <gasps> Dallas. Oh my god, I love. Well, guys, the Ghani and Anim Bing are both incredible. They're really good. The Ghani's <laughs> really like, good. so cool. So cool. Like, they have like really sick stuff. I feel like really they, cool. I like, think that might be my favorite Ghani I've been to. Well, which I've been to. Say, I was like, I feel like the one in LA, they, I feel like I haven't seen some of the stuff that was in there. Yeah, incredible. The Anim Bing has Dallas hat. Like they had the New York hats, and it's amazing. It was great. Um, so we're just walking through, enjoying our time here, because we've got oh only three more hours here, really. Yeah. That's really not, not enough time. time. Yeah, we're kind of cramming this one in. Yeah. But there used to be a store up here that had like custom showers and bathtubs and stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was like so much fun. Yeah, clothes. Very sad. Oh, let's stop in coach. Thanks. They always have very good surprises. Anthropology, Bath and Body Works, La Madeline. Tomato basil soup, you know, you know. Oh There's my god. A lot happening. I know, it's like I'm overwhelmed. How are you feeling? How do you feel like your energy is going? Honestly, it's pretty high right now. I like keep thinking of ways I'm just gonna style this bag in my mind. If I'm ever being quiet, yeah. it ugh, like hurts. And there we go. This is so exciting. Christmas. This is like literally a dream. So perfect. <laughs> Okay, Dom, are you ready for Ugg? Here we go. I'm actually sick. I, I said, see, you should watch Wonder Hill. And she said, is this in it? We're just setting up shop. Yeah, we're just like moving I'm gonna start watching Wonder Hill. Kenzie said she'll watch it with me, so be prepared. Is this the oversized field that I'm going for? I don't feel like it's big enough. I want it to be like draping on That's gonna be draping, bro. I don't wanna be I guess these pants too are so so soft. I buy it immediately. It's for my morning walks. Yeah, I'm scary. Really Guys, Dom and I are getting matching leggings. Finally, she's back. I've been waiting for you to arrive all day. I'm sorry, I just need a moment. I got really excited. I just found out right now Apple Voices has synthesizer. And the playlist really did something to you. This, like a matching Yeah, that's so Oh, wait. I need that too. Dom has literally become me. Guys, I have three pounds left in my luggage. Like, but you're here in two weeks anyways, so if you need to leave it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, those are it. That's really cute. Look at Dom with her chocolate brown, her Uggs, her Taylor Swift lover, her starting Wonder Hill. You don't ever include me in your hobbies. I actually want to talk to you about that. You don't, but you don't ever do that. I think about it all the time. Well, because I feel like my hobbies, anytime I say like, oh, let's, you're like, no, because it's watching to. shows and I have no attention span. But if it's something else, yeah, like maybe we could play pickleball together. Yeah, I would do that. You play pickleball? Yeah, I play pickleball. I would play it. Um, I have a friend here who plays pickleball. She invites me. But I'll do your hobbies too. You just don't invite me. I'm gonna start inviting you then. Okay. Hey, Domini. This is Dom's treatment in Dallas. It's so I know. Cool. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so we both got our matching leggings and we changed into them. They were matching, but my leggings have a hole in them, and I found out when I got to the mall. Mine's humiliating. Oh, copy for you. 
But she spilled something on her shirt and then she tried to flash yeah, the parking lot. I did flash the parking lot, but now they're just inside. I'm wearing my shirt out back. Yeah. Guys, we got like really got a lot of stuff from here. We're now is a good time to remind everyone to buy Dallas Live Show tickets November eleventh. Dallas Live at Show. The at the factory. Five. Yeah, you gotta come. Dom's doing stand up. I don't know why I'm not advertising that. I forgot to tell everyone. I know. We gotta tell everyone. Alright guys, we went to Aritzia. We got some stuff. We'll be doing a haul as well for this vlog. So we've got a budget in time for that. We got a lot of stuff. But also, Abercrombie Fall 2022, which it's Fall 2022, so give me a date. Who helped me, honestly, she like really hooked it up. Like she pulled stuff that I didn't even see. Yeah, she was cool. That's so cute. It is cute, but I feel like I need to go size up. What size is that? Medium. I don't know. But like what if I wear like a hoodie under it? Mm. Then yeah, dude. Pretty nice though. But, like I do like it a lot. So this is really not doing much because Looks great. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'll get this one. It's got some stuff at Urban. Only like three things. This is us right now. It's actually a workout. Like, thank God I skipped my workout this morning because I'm just not in the business of doing two a days. We're going to Zara and then we have like like a couple stores. We have Free People and we have George Strong. And then we're out. It's giving like when you dress in anthropology or in free people because the way like, you now it's like, like it's crossed the line. Yeah. Like look, look how easy it is for me guys to like revert back to my old ways. Like I put on this vest and like show pan my outfit. Little background, Dom used to dress solely depending on the boy that she liked. So she's gone through a lot of phases. But not anymore, now I just dress for me. Yeah, it's a really beautiful development we've been able to see. Yeah. And also, don't do that. Don't dress for the guy you like, because yeah. reality is, men don't care about fashion, they don't even know. Also, you should dress for yourself anyway. Yeah. No. <laughs> and also, like, it's they, not even worth it, they don't yeah. even notice. <laughs> They don't even like wash their ass. Um, but also more importantly, you need to be comfortable and happy in what you wear. Yes, I'm glad that you really brought that. And also like you can manipulate them in other ways. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Guys, we did a lot of filming. I'm out of breath from, actually now that I'm like filming it, it really doesn't even look like as much as it felt when we were carrying it. It's so Am nice. I forgetting about, where's my, oh, that's my routine. My arms are literally going to fall off. Yeah. She also got another, she's got two more bags, that's why. We're gonna be doing a haul shortly, don't you worry. Got my second pumpkin spice latte. John got a Coke with blueberry, right? Um, from the North. Blackberry. blackberry from the North from E bar. You guys, look at this mayo and juicy couture collab. Like, this is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. I don't know why it had to be open this way. Okay. <gasps> Wait, stop. Okay, let them eat real craft mayo. <gasps> oh my god, shut the fuck up. That is so cool. Dom, it's like, it's like juicy mayo, but it's pink. <gasps> no way. Oh my God, okay, the, I have another juicy set. The back says smooth and the butt says smooth. Long live velvety smooth, mayo couture, the juicy collab, mayo couture top. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. That is so cute. We're about to film a fall haul. Get ready guys, and of course I'm lighting the Bath and Body Works candle for the background. I mean, this is just like very exciting. I can't even lie, like I am dead ass deceased. Like I am just deceased right now. But like, she's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. I'm just like, I we dead ass shopped till we dropped. Like, yeah, like I did actually did drop. Fact, drop at one point. At the end, I gave up, but I was on the floor at North Park and that was it. But we're gonna give you all a little haul. We have to head to the our weekend plans pretty soon. So first, Kenzie, stand up. Show them our matching leggings. Tom's also wearing them. She just didn't want to stand up. They're so cute. Yeah, I'll like everything. They're cute at the bottom. Um. Okay, but I really did not know this. I guess I just really haven't been tapped in with outdoor voices. I didn't know they extended their sizes, so I saw they went up to 3X. It might even be more, which is incredible. Um, but I got one of their, I've always wanted one of their exercise dresses. Now they finally have my size. So It's also like really cute. Honestly. It's what super it cute. I actually might wear it tonight. Yeah. Um, because it's like, you can make it dressy. Like it's a really nice material and stuff. If I like go out on the weekends, like that'll definitely, I love just like a nice like black dress. Next from UGG, I got these boot covers and you're like, what the hell? But 
You actually, it's really sick. You can put these over any sneaker um, and it makes them like a chunkier sole. So if you have like Nikes, uh, Solomons, Adidas, like any like cool, really sick like sneaker you own and boot, you can put these over and it makes them like a chunkier shoe, which chunky shoes look best on me. Hold on, I'll do what I got to after voices so we can stay at oh, the yeah. same store. Dom just was, um, I got ahead of myself. She was just taking over the channel. So we both got these leggings that we're both wearing now. I got this, like, I'm normally not like a collared shirt kind of girl. Like with like this. Vibe. It's so cute. Like though. I like collared on like poplin tops, mm -hmm. but whatever. But I got it like smaller and then I'm gonna wear my morning walks with the vest over. I even have a pink vest. Like yeah. a really cute pink vest that I could wear. Love this. The gaudy vest, I'm in love with it, but it's $500. And I don't know if I'm that in love with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, also, my H&M vest that I wear all the time is literally $40. But that the thing about the gaudy one, one, I'm sure it's made ethically better. Two, I will like keep that for the rest of my life. Yeah. And it's such a classic. It's really cool. I feel like Ghani doesn't- It's so cool. Yeah, I don't think they necessarily come out with new, like a lot of new, but the stuff that they like- you Right know, now, it's really good. It's just like, you want it forever. Like those, when we went to Palm Springs and I got those Chelsea boots. They're not Chelsea boots. I don't know how to describe them. Yeah, I don't know how to show them either. Anyway, so like these, the chunky boot that they're they were like, in the stage for. Vlog. Like, they've had those for years and years now. Yeah, they're cute. I got this in like an extra small only because that's the only size I think I had. And then I got this in a small so it would be like a little bit like tighter fitted with jeans like under like a sweater or something. And then um, I got my leggings in a medium. This top I got in a small. And this top just like matches the leggings really well. I'm gonna wear this Super cute. like over a sports bra to Pilates. I like need leggings. All of my stuff that I'm working that I've been working out with in the past like six months are shorts. And like suddenly my leggings are just gone. Um, I got these pants, which I wish that they were solid color because I don't like love this stuff as much, but they are the softest. They feel thing. so good. They have to be like incredibly flat. I didn't even try them on, but like they feel so good again for my morning walks. I gotta get back on my morning walks because I miss them. Um, so yeah, that's what I got. I didn't get anything at UGG this time because I already bought um, three things from UGGs and the worker uh, recognized me. <coughs> I'm done I'm being there, so that's embarrassing. Moving on to Aritzia. Sunday's Best has just really been killing it lately. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure everything I got is from Sunday's Best, but starting with this skirt, it's this really cute call. black mini skirt, which you guys, I cannot even begin to explain how long I've been searching for a skirt just like this because I don't want it to be super fitting. You know, like I don't want those every tube skirt that everyone was wearing in like 2010. Mm -hmm. Like those need to be put to rest. Okay, but this, this is what I'm looking for. The girl who was helping me was amazing. She started pulling all this stuff and there's this cute little like black hoodie and it's so cute. And my favorite part is the arms cause it has this little hole, like arm like, hole. Both of these are actually an extra large and they're super stretchy, so. And that looks like a top on. Yeah. It's not like. It could be like a hoodie or a top. It zips all the way down. Yeah. Ooh, zip up. This black, it's kind of hard to see, but it like buttons down. It could be a cardigan, but I actually am thinking of wearing it as a shirt. I didn't uh, even think about the fact that this is, you're not wearing all black, so it's all blending in. Yeah. And um, really, really cute. Ooh, that's cute. Black knitted cardigan. It's freaking adorable. Love it so much. The buttons are brown and it's cropped. So it just looks amazing. So for um, last night we were looking for skirts in my closet and I had none. And I just need like a normal like structured fall skirt that I can wear with like sweaters and my cat boots. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I got That's this really one cool. and then I got the exact same one in black. And I got them, they're both in a size six, but they're like a little bit tight. Did I tell you my latest development? No. I have a butt now. Wait, cute. I know, it's new, it's new. It's very new. It's very new. Yeah, okay. so I just think that, you know, this is a little bit hard to put the screw on. No. First time it's ever happened to me. As someone who has a butt, and it really just takes over life, like. But it's such a special thing to it's have. It's such a fun thing to have. It is. So anyways, I will say like, I considered sizing up, but honestly I was just like too lazy to like ask for another size. And I feel like it'll like stretch out a little bit, and it does fit, like, but it was like a little bit tight. So if you're shopping online, keep that in mind. Um, and I don't really have like a big butt, so just like, oh, okay. 
So if y'all watched the New York vlog when I went to Aritzia the first time of like 10 times. Like the amount of times I go to Aritzia is actually embarrassing. Are these pants? Yes, and they're like 50 bucks. So I have these in light pink and then I have two matching pink tops. Why didn't I see these? I don't know. They're only like $48. That's Are you really impressive. effing kidding me? They're so cute. And I have the matching top anyways and like a long sleeve. So it's just like the cutest thing ever. I wore the pink. I've worn the pink set like already twice. Yeah, I know. So I got those. And then I also got these just as lounge because they're so soft feel them. They yes. feel like everyday pajamas almost. These are like insane. They're Wilford Free. I got them in a small. They were $68, but like so soft and I will live in them. I really care the most about my loungewear because that's what I wear the most. And I prefer to not leave my house except for I have all these cute outfits. So I need to leave my house for the purpose of that. Because all you little coquette girlies have sold out leg warmers everywhere. I got these socks because they like bunch up. And then I think I'm just going to cut off the bottom so I can make these leg warmers. But like enough is enough. Like it's my turn to be cute as well. I got this vest from Free People that's like really big. But picture oh I'm gonna fall. Make sure this it's not like too big, right? Like it's supposed no, to be. No, I feel like it's chill. I think it's fine. This leggings, long sleeve, hair slick back, hoops, and hokas in thick socks on my morning walks. It's cute. I treat my loungewear and my morning walks and my Pilates class as like a fashion show. Yeah. But then I just like wear the most simple outfits when like I actually should like try, you know? Well, I think the thing with me is like I wear activewear as if I like people probably when I like do my errands, they probably think like, oh my gosh, you probably worked out this morning. And it's like, no, I just do this together, you know? This whole thing. <laughs> this whole thing. Yeah. Okay, Bath and Body work. so I showed it to the all and my little lemon leggings had a hole in them, so that was really embarrassing. Awesome. Which means that I found that look a year ago, which means that I threw away the wrong leggings. I'm out two Lululemon Align leggings, love that for me. I obviously had to get some Bath and Body Works candles, I got the hot cocoa and cream, just because it was there, it's kind of like really strong. I was going to put it in a bathroom or something, or maybe like my closet room, who knows, and then my comfort candle, was. Many of you know, if you're not new, um, would be Marshmallow Fireside. And I used to have this burning in my house in LA like almost year round. This or Volcano, just because this is the candle that I always have burning in my house at home, like obviously during the holidays times. But it's my favorite candle and it just brings really good vibes. Happy mems. Happy mems. We just crack us in the lot. It makes me. We're not happy memories. Something about it that was comforting. It makes me think about you. Oh, but did they rebrand? Yeah, so that's the issue. Like, I already have one here that's almost out, and like, I like this better. I normally like take off the stickers. I was lazy. I'll take off those stickers though. Guys, this is like the most important thing that I got. If you live in LA, then you freaking know how much of a struggle it is to just acquire anything diesel because I feel like it's such a hot brand right now. And so, if you need anything, go to North Park Mall at 10 a.m. right when it opens. Literally, because I was so like, kept, like. I, I look like I saw a ghost. I was so shook. Dun, da, da, da. Really cute. Like, I don't even want to. Now that you did that sound as you brought this out, it, it's giving me um, Incredibles vibes. That's real. I don't want to, like, take all the stuff off of it, but it's really cute. Like, you can see that. It's so cute. So, it also comes with a longer strap as well because. This strap isn't super big. Like, I could wear it on my shoulder, but not really, like, I don't know. It kind of would, like, fall off, you know? It's pretty, like... This bag has been so hard to get. It comes in multiple colors. Black, red, red and white. And then later this season, I know they're dropping more colors. This strap is just, like, this black leather strap. Sorry, I guess I should take all the plastic off to really show you guys the full... I, like, left it all at the mall today. Like, yeah. North Park, I gave them my best. Getting a new bag is the best feeling in the world. Like it's, it's just like, so exciting. Something about a bag just like feels like home. I like know? don't know how to describe how excited I am. I know it probably seems like I'm being like, okay, is it don't, like this don't give a shit. And I'm like, trust me, I really do. Also, the price point of this bag, if you want something that's like maybe more like name brand, but it's just like different and not like in the cycle, diesel is great. Sorry, I thought I should stay up. It's literally the sickest bag ever. It has a big D on it. It probably looks like it's a Dom. Um, oh, wait, that's cute. And yeah, and it has a strap and it's adjustable. It can go longer. I'm definitely going to wear, this is going to be like its own fashion moment. 
really excited about this bag. Um, Diesel's just made a really huge comeback this year. Like even the diesel buckles are really cool. They didn't have any in store, but if they had that, cut the cameras. Um, but yes, it's really cute. And I think it was, I think with tax, it came out to like 530, which is for, yeah, that's good. you know, like a designer bag, pretty decent. Have you ever filmed like a sit down haul before? No. We should have made this a bigger deal. Yeah, I guess we like, could have. Dom's losing her virginity. I know, to having like an actual like YouTube sit down haul, no. But you've had it. I've Dom done like quick, shit at YouTube channel. Yeah. Did you guys not? What did Actually, you? I guess we have done a YouTube haul. It, it would be like Forever 21. Like yeah, the, whatever we yet. could afford. Guys, Dom had a YouTube channel when she was younger and we would have been like, well, we had like mutual internet friends. Mm -hmm. That's how like I was we like started talking in college. Crap. Yeah, like seven, sixteen, seventeen, when I you were doing the same thing that like Maddie Chop and I were doing. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey guys, with my best friend, we like had a channel together, and then she took over the channel because I was like, I don't where's know. the channel now? The channel is <laughs> it's off. I went on Facebook and I found one of our old thumbnails, and it was like eyebrow routine, and we did like an Anastasia dip brow like. Vicky, oh, yeah. Vicky, like caterpillar brow, freaking. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> to my subscribers, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry for just yeah. Go your own way sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to make your own decisions. <laughs> but also for the time, we were no, really that, doing that was that was it at the time. Yeah. I got this pink puffer that is so cute. Like obviously, it's so me. My entire Instagram this season is gonna be my outfits for my morning walk in Pilates. And then, oh, I also got, guys, I just like think that these don't work. They're crease free clips where you like pin your hair back when you're doing your hair and it's supposed to not leave creases, you know? But I know I'm willing to try it out. You got these from Urban? Yeah. Urban yeah. always gets me in that little yeah, section. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Like, Same I spend an extra hundred dollars. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> I also got this crew that's a Budweiser crew. I just thought it was cute. It's cute. Got it in a large, but I feel like I'm not gonna love the size, but whatever, it was cool. I like the horses on it. I love Budweiser and I love horses. A little Clydesdale horse. Love. So I think that's it. That is it. For today's haul, um, I'm so sorry if you guys didn't, if you were expecting more energy with this haul, but you have to understand that we're just really booked and busy. Guys. And we're trying our best and we had to fit in like one of our fall days, which if you guys watched the vlogs in like 2020, even last year, this, we just like our- It's like it was, Honestly, it was such a, it was, even when it was such a low point in time, this is how we found our joy. Like guys, this is genuinely- it's, It is tradition. Like if I was literally going through like the lowest point of my life, like, I would genuinely buy a plane ticket to Texas, go to North Park Mall, and as long as I went to Bath and Body Works in Anthropology. But the Anthro at Highland Park Village. Yes. Yeah, I'm not fun. kidding. And get a Starbucks drink. Like it like it cures. would give me like new hope in life. Yeah, and then you leave and you still feel better. And then the next day, you know, things suck again. Yeah. But like there's like that like little, little glimpse. glimmer. Yeah. It's just like a little glimmer. Even if I would walk out with like a Mario Badescu like, yeah. like hand lotion or something, like yeah. just anything. We wouldn't even buy that much stuff all No, like, it was just, it was just like going there. Yeah, it, it was it. like the routine of it, the whatever. It was so... It was just like waking up and knowing that there was like purpose. Yeah, that. that was our purpose. Yeah, it was really such a special time. Um, and I loved that. So that is why, to answer all questions, I will not be leaving the state of Texas until New Year's Eve. Yeah. Cute. Is there anything else you want to say to the vlog? No, I love you guys. I've missed you guys, and I'm happy we were able to do this sit down and fall haul with me. My regret, I have a couple regrets. Mm -hmm. I wish I got those lounge bands. I wish I saw those lounge bands, the brown ones. They're only 50 bucks. And I wish I saw, I wish I got this top. I was too lazy to try it on. I didn't even try it. Like, I don't know. You just I mean, threw it. Look, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I know my sizing in outdoors is one way. Well, the cream one was really cute. They had it in other colors, guys. They had everything in other colors. Free Will Movement, too, was really good. Their stuff, and they're opening a new storefront in Debellum on Main Street. I'm excited about that. Like, I love Debellum. Like, besides the horrible things happening, I love Debellum. Debellum is so fucking cool, especially during the day. It just has the coolest shopping, the coolest area. It really does. So, it it like just is. The what? crime is really bad. Oh, what's that? A like people have shop. been killed there like multiple times. Yeah. Like often. Like uh, Merit? Yeah. Merit coffee, Jenny's ice cream, and that little 
corner. Mm -hmm. So cute. But they just have like great shopping and like cool stuff too. They have a sweet green as well. But yeah, I mean, obviously I want the crime to go down, but um, great area. And that's happening. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We love you guys so much. And I will talk to you literally in five minutes when we start the new vlog. Bye. Oh, is this the end of the vlog? This is just a single day vlog. And then we're going to do a weekend vlog. Oh. Oh. And also I want to say you guys did see uh, sorry I meant to bring this up when you're talking about three mm. people. I'm just maybe I'm not ready to let this vlog go. Okay, we're, we're back. We're here. I yeah. almost bought That vest it kind of scared me a little that I almost bought that vest in free people. You'll see the footage Why because you felt like you were like I was just shook that I was Going to so easily give in to my old ways I, mean, I don't think that, that's like a bad thing. No. It's not like I weird. also think now in my mind, I think if I wore it with baggy pants, it would be slick. Yeah, and also like you're not wearing it because a guy, no. you like a guy no. that it dresses like. I don't, yeah. Or that cares about how you All men need to be in cages right now. Maybe I'll go on a date soon. Can you please? I know, I'm like getting to the point where I'm like, I have like no What if we went on a I date have, together? I'd be down. I used to have like, the best boy stories always, and now I have like literally nothing to offer anyone. Like I would be the one that would be telling people. People are talking about it, and I just sit there and I have literally nothing to contribute. No, I know. I feel like every time we try and find any boy stories, it's like throwback. Mine are all like a year up. Yeah. But I, I honestly have nothing for you. I feel about people sending you audio messages, like guys sending you audio messages. I feel like if it's done well, it's like funny. He's like funny. You love guys who send you audio messages. I, I I've never met someone who gets more audio messages from, from guys because I wouldn't even know what to do. It's just like as a man, like why are you texting me? But audio messaging is better. Like Tom, it is. you literally make no sense. Tom. No, it, it doesn't. I think I just say kind of whatever. It's like as a man, why are you texting me? <laughs> You're like as a man, why are you? As a man, why isn't my Venmo filled Tom, with a thousand think that, dollars? Um, did you know? Did I know? Um, Jeff Scissors. Did you know that um, my that Laura told me that I'm gonna meet someone this fall and winter? Can, can you hold me, please? Get Laura to talk to me. What do you mean? Just message her. Look, look, look. Guys, there Laura. Goes. What? There's the animal on the light pole. Wait, do you think it's like? Where is it? It just went. Where was it a it? rat? It was a rat. No, it wasn't. Literally. Are off. you just saying like to distract me? Kenzie, I swear. Look on the black, on those black thingies. It was a rat? Yes. Oh my god, I think we know what's happening in my garden. That's I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna That's kill my mom. I'm gonna kill, kill my mom. dad. I would never do such a thing. I would never kill an animal, but these rats, <laughs> I swear to god, on my garden. They're digging in my garden and like right where I just planted seeds. I can't plant more because what if I'm planting too many? But what if I take the seeds out? Maybe it was a squirrel too. Okay, I like a squirrel more than a rat, but. I mean, I, Taryn's on her way. So we're gonna end this vlog, guys, because I am, got it, I gotta go. Guys, I'm so hungry, what should I eat? Um, there's drunken noodles in the that I made in the French wait, really? I don't know if they're good leftover though. Okay, bye guys. Bye everyone. I love you. Love you so much. Dom is a night owl and I am a morning person. Yes. It's one of the billion ways that we are like quite literally the exact opposite. Um, and Dom woke me up this morning. I I was I I kept turning over, kind of looking at Kenzie. I could tell, and I was like, no, I'm sleeping. Yeah, I was like, okay, she's gonna sleep, and I love that. I wish you would do that more.